How to do steel wool light painting by Camilla Hancock. So for this awesome photography shoot, here's some items that are needed. First you'll need steel wool, find a super fine grade, a whisk, flexible wire, wire cutters or scissors, and a lighter. Step one. Pick your wool and whisk. When selecting your steel wool, make sure you purchase the real deal and not metallic kitchen loofah, often referred to as by the same name. Real steel wool usually comes in sheets or roll inside a bag or a box with a grade of the finest clearly displayed. The grade of steel wool you are looking for is fine to super fine or anything with the grade zero or below. Finer wool will give you a shorter burn time with less intense fire trails and more of them. Step two, a wool in the whisk. Unroll the steel wool and if necessary, cut into about four by eight rectangle. Grabbing both sides, pull the steel wool apart until the size of the square is closer to eight by eight. Opening up the steel wool will allow air to flow through better and ensure a more even complete burn. Loosely bunch the steel wool into a ball and insert into the whisk so that it completely fills the cage. Step three, tie them up. Next, cut the wire to about six inches in length. The wire we chose was made of flexible metal fibers originally intended to hang photos on the wall. You could probably get away with nylon string instead of wire, but since one end will be attached to a flaming whisk, the less flammable the better. Tie the wire to the loop at the end of the whisk. Step four, pick the perfect spot. Keep clear of anything flammable like buildings, dry grass or trees. Rocks, sand, pavement, or water, or in this case, snow, are better choices. You also want to choose somewhere relatively remote. Any unexpected background activity can ruin an exposure, so avoid places with passing cars or wandering people. Step five, set up your camera. We tried a couple of different shutter speeds with an aperture of f8 and a very high ISO. The steel wool can burn for over 20 seconds, but a 20 second shutter speed may result in too many fire trails. We had the most success with a shutter speed of about 10 to 13 seconds and with the wide angle about five to eight seconds. Ensure your camera is a safe distance from the epicenter. Any rogue sparks could ruin your equipment. Step six, ignite and spin. Once everyone is in place, ignite the steel wool using the lighter. The wool will not burst into flames, but will slowly smolder at the surface. Holding the wire, hang the whisk about a foot from the ground. Start spinning the whisk in large circle and have a friend trigger the camera. A rush of air will accelerate the burn and sparks will start to fly. Keep spinning until the exposure and ends of the wool burn out. Step seven, have fun. This is obviously the most important step, even though we were in three degree weather.